the Lower Canada Rebellion, commonly referred to as the Patriots' War by Quebecers, is the name given to the armed conflict in 1837-38 between the rebels of Lower Canada and the British colonial power of that province. Together with the simultaneous Upper Canada Rebellion in the neighboring colony of Upper Canada, it formed the rebellions of 1837. The rebellion of Lower Canada continued in 1838 and in Quebec is often called Les Ra Copyright Bellions d 1837 Euro 38. History The rebellion was preceded by nearly three decades of efforts at political reform in Lower Canada, led from the early 1800s by James Stewart and Louis Joseph Papineau, who formed the Party Patriot and sought accountability from the elected General Assembly and appointed Governor of the colony. The appointed Legislative Council was dominated by a small group of businessmen known as the Car Cento Clique, the equivalent of the Family Compact in Upper Canada. Activists in Lower Canada began to work for reform in a period of economic disfranchisement of the French-speaking majority and working-class English-speaking citizens. The rebellion protested the injustice of colonial governing as such, in which the Governor and Upper House of the Legislature were appointed by the Crown. Many of its leaders and participants were English-speaking citizens of Lower Canada. The French speakers felt that Anglophones were disproportionately represented in the lucrative fields of banking, the timber trade, and transportation industry. At the same time, some among the Anglophone business elite advocated a union of Upper and Lower Canada in order to ensure competitiveness on a national scale with the increasingly large and powerful economy of the United States. The unification of the colony was favoured by the British appointed governor, George Ramsay, Earl of Dalhousie. In Lower Canada, the growing sense of nationalism among English and the French speaking citizens was organised into the Parti Carnadian. In 1811, James Stewart became leader of the Parti Carnadian in the Assembly and in 1815, reformer Louis Joseph Papineau was elected as Assembly Speaker in Lower Canada. The elected Assembly had little power. Its decisions could be vetoed by the Legislative Council and Governor, all of whom were appointed by the British government. Governor Dalhousie and Papineau were soon at odds over the issue of uniting the Canadas. Dalhousie forced an election in 1827 rather than accept Papineau as Assembly Speaker. Sympathizers to the reform movement in England had Dalhousie forced from his position and reassigned to India. But the Legislative Council and the Assembly were not able to reach a compromise. After hearing about the 99 grievances submitted by Robert Goulet, Papineau wrote the 92 resolutions while secretly coordinating with Upper Canada. After protesters were shot in Montreal in 1832, Papineau had no choice but to submit the list of resolutions to the governor himself. By 1834, the Assembly had passed the 92 resolutions, outlining its grievances against the Legislative Council. At that point, the Patriot movement was supported by an overwhelming majority of the Lower Canada population of all origins. Later in 1834, the Party Patriot swept the election, gaining more than three-quarters of the popular vote. But, the reformers in Lower Canada were divided over several issues. A moderate reformer named John Nielsen had quit the party in 1830 and joined the Constitutional Association four years later. Papineau's anti-clerical position alienated reformers in the Catholic Church, and his support for secular rather than religious schools resulted in opposition by the powerful Bishop Jean-Jacques Lartigue. Lartigue called on all Catholics to reject the reform movement and support the authorities, forcing many to choose between their religion and their political convictions. Organizing for armed conflict, Papineau continued to push for reform. He petitioned the British government but in March 1837, the government of Lord Melbourne rejected all of Papineau's requests. Papineau organized protests and assemblies and eventually approved formation of the paramilitary social copyright tar copyright des fils de la liberté copyright during the assemblar copyright e des six compte copyright s. A first armed conflict occurred in 1837 when the 26 members of the Patriot movement, who had been charged with illegal activities, chose to resist their arrest by the authorities under the direction of John Colburn. Papineau escaped to the United States, and other rebels organized in the countryside. Led by Wilfred Nelson, 
they defeated a British force at St. Denis on November 23, 1837. The British troops soon beat back the rebels, defeating them at St. Charles on November 25 and at St. Eustache on December 14. The troops pillaged and ransacked St. Eustache. On December 5, the government declared martial law in Montreal. When news of the arrest of the Patriot leaders reached Upper Canada, William Lyon Mackenzie launched an armed rebellion in December 1837. In the meantime, filibusters from the United States, the Hunter Patriots, formed a small militia and attacked Windsor, Upper Canada, to support the Canadian Patriots. This resulted in the declaration of martial law by the Lower Canadian government. The following year, leaders who had escaped across the border into the United States raided Lower Canada in February 1838. Two major armed conflicts occurred when groups of Lower Canadian Patriots, led by Robert Nelson, crossed the American border in an attempt to invade Lower Canada and Upper Canada, drive out the British Army and establish two independent republics. A second revolt began at Battle of Bihoronoi in November 1838. It was also crushed by forces of the colonial government. Britain dispatched Lord Durham to investigate the cause of the rebellion. His report in 1839 recommended that the Canadas be united into one colony to assimilate the French-speaking Canadians into Anglophone British culture. He also recommended acceding to the rebels' grievances by granting responsible government at the new colony. Aftermath, following the military defeat of the Patriots, Lower Canada was merged with Upper Canada under the Union Act. The Canadians had a narrow majority in the new political entity, and with continued emigration of English speakers to Ontario, this dominance was short-lived. Eight years after the Union, a responsible elected government was set up in the United Province of Canada. The instability of this new regime eventually led to the formation of the Great Coalition. In 1867, there was another major constitutional change and formation of the Canadian Confederation. The rebellion of the Patriots Canadians of Lower Canada, taken along with the Upper Canadian Rebellion, is often seen as the example of what might have occurred in the United States if the American Revolutionary War had failed. In Quebec, the rebellion is now commemorated as the Journa Copyright e Nationale des Patriots on the Canadian statutory holiday, Victoria Day. Since the late 20th century, it has become a symbol for the contemporary Quebec independence movement. Leaders, Thomas Storrow Brown, Jean-Olivier Carr Copyright Nyer, Frenna Section War Marie Thomas Chevalier de la Rimea, Amuri Girard, James Ard, Edmund Bailey O'Callaghan, Wilfred Nelson, Louis-Joseph Papineau. See also History of Canada, Patriot Movement, Timeline of Quebec History, Politics of Quebec, Canada Bay, New South Wales, some French Canadians who took part in the rebellions were expelled to this region of Australia. National Patriots Day, Carne Wake Iroquois in the rebellions of 1837 Euro February 15, 38, 1839, Far Copyright Lix Powder Copyright, List of the 108 Lower Canadians prosecuted before the General Court Martial of Montreal in 1838 Euro 39. References Further reading. Boisserie, Beverly A Deep Sense of Wrong, The Treason Trials, and Transportation to New South Wales of Lower Canadian Rebels After the 1838 Rebellion, Toronto, Dunduran Press, 367 p. Brown, Richard. Rebellion in Canada, 1837-1885, Autocracy, Rebellion and Liberty Excerpt Volume 1. Rebellion in Canada, 1837-1885, Volume 2, The Irish, The Fenians and the Metis Excerpt for Volume 2, Buckner, Philip Alfred The Transition to Responsible Government, British Policy in British North America, 1815 Euro 1850, Westport Connecticut Greenwood Press, 358 p. Burroughs, Peter The Canadian Crisis in the British Colonial Policy, 1828 Euro 1849, Toronto. Macmillan, 118 p. Dells, Alfred Duclos The Patriots of 37, A Chronicle of the Lower Canadian Rebellion, Toronto, Glasgow, Brook and Company, 140 p. Translated by Stuart Wallace, Duchamp, Michel. 
closing the last chapter of the Atlantic Revolution, the 1837-38 rebellions in Upper and Lower Canada, Proceedings of the American Antiquarian Society 116-413-430. 2006, Dunning, Tom. The Canadian Rebellions of 1837 and 1838 is a Borderland War, a retrospective. Ontario History 101 number 2 pages 129 a euro 141. Greer, Alan. The Patriots and the People, The Rebellion of 1837 in Rural Lower Canada, Toronto, University of Toronto Press, 385p. Senior, Leonicite Redcoats and Patriots, The Rebellions in Lower Canada, 1837 a euro 38, Ontario, Canada's Wings. Incorporated, 218 p. Mann, Michael. A Particular Duty, The Canadian Rebellions 1837 a Euro 1839, Salisbury, Michael Russell Publishing, 211 p. Tiffany, or in Edward The Relations of the United States to the Canadian Rebellion of 1837 a Euro 1838, Toronto, Coles Pub, 147 p. Ryerson. Stanley Brahort. Unequal Union, Confederation and the Roots of Conflict in the Canadas, 1815 Euro 1873, Toronto, Progress Books, 477p. Manning, Helen Taft. The Revolt of French Canada, 1800 Euro 1835. A Chapter in the History of the British Commonwealth, Toronto, Macmillan Company of Canada, 426p. Kinken, Oscar Arvel. The Rise and Fall of the Patriot Hunters, Toronto, Burns and Marie Churn, 150p. Morrison, John Lyle. British Supremacy and Canadian Self-Government, 1839 Euro 1854, Toronto, S. B. Gundy, 369p. Schaub, Joseph. Rebellion, The Rising in French Canada 1837, Toronto, Macmillan. 226 p. Equals primary services equals Greenwood F Murray and Barry Wright Canadian State Trials a Euro Rebellion and Invasion in the Canadas 1837 a Euro 1839 Society for Canadian Legal History by University of Toronto Press ISBN 0-8020-0913-1. External links: The Patriots Rebellion Quebec. 1837 Euro 1839, selection of French documents translated into English for the Marxists Internet Archive, Les Rois Copyright Bellions des Patriots d 1837 Euro 38.